Monte, he got Down syndrome, but he only got Down syndrome when it's convenient for him. <laughs> for example, he could play this game called Fortnite, he can shave, he could drive a car, but ask him to do the dishes. What's wrong with you? I got Down syndrome. <laughs> and he be trying to holler at females. He said, Clifton, make me a Tinder account. I was like, no, you Down syndrome. They don't got no Down syndrome girls on Tinder. You know, you got to go with a Down syndrome girl. He said, I want a regular girl. No, I said, you're Down syndrome. He said, I'm Down syndrome, but I'm upgrade Down syndrome. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Huh. Special, we special, we special. Look, sons and daughters of the light, not the goddess, not the children of the psychics, but the prophets. Tell your soul to God in the world, what did you profit? Change our images in history, they whitewash it. Twelve tribes, one nation, offspring of Jacob. Chosen royal seed, procure your people, none of it. Be patient, live and learn, you gon' your turn. The second delve is real as life. The choice for pen or burn. I can prove we real Jews. They just carbon copies. Hard-hearted. We destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Say it come out of hurt my people. But will you hearken? Now we straight to find it. Find it is the oligarchy. Walk electric instant message like it's fiber optics. Rock steady cross. I carry heaven. I won't drop it. If I call a man childish, that means his behavior. So when you call him Jewish, understand the label. The trial of man is in his reason. You can keep the sacrifice, he won't no obedience. Sleep but conscious, I come move until I call his name. I'm trying to make it in the kingdom, not the hall of fame. He blessed me with his wool and her. Brown eyes, brown skin. Brown eyes, brown skin. I said he blessed me with his wool and her. Brown eyes, brown skin. Hate the battle world, the creator's my friend. white people. How could he hide that? See, so that, we've done that. We've given your people a God that looks like me so that you don't have any qualm about bowing down to me. See, because this is the image of God. I don't know of any sin that we've committed that's greater than that one. Again, like the smoke of Babylon. When is it going up, though, Pete? Is what they ask him. I said, July 7, 2024. They say, where is it going to go up at, though, Pete? I said, Douglasville, Georgia. They said, what's really going on, though, Pete? I said, I'm performing live at the second annual Friends Dope Family Fest. Go get your tickets right now, Chief. 
3mgmusic.com. Go get your ticket right now, family. Bring everybody out to Douglasville, Georgia, July 7, 2024, for the second annual Friends Door Family Fest. I'm going to be performing live. Come see me. Come kick it with me. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to kick it with you. Bring your family. Don't forget, I'm going to run it by you one more time. 3mgmusic.com. Go get your tickets. July 7, 2024, Douglasville, Georgia. Peace and blessing to the chosen. A few bars from Blast Off. Speaking COVID with my mask off. In it fit, cause it make y'all sick. Fin the foe, bro, time for you to pick. Church. Real ones know what I mean. I bring light to the block, boy, Billy Jean. It feel good, I ought to do it more. Tell them about the truth they never heard before. And they love that too. We go to church every day, boy, what happened to you? Right there in the trap where they throw gang signs. Said he tired of it, wanna leave it behind. Preach. I want the same form. Buddy talking about the game on. I tell him that when you've been made new. The truth right there, bro. What you finna do? Boo. Wrong game from my Adam's apple. I know you hear me, I'm a church priest, tabernacle. Get free, I'm a break the shackle. I know you hear me, I'm a church priest, tabernacle. Wrong game from my Adam's apple. I know you hear me, I'm a church priest, tabernacle. Get free, I'm a break the shackle. I know you hear me, I'm a church priest, tabernacle. Authentic, treasures with my Levi's. Keep it separate, I don't hang around with them guys. Warrior homie, I ain't talking Draymond. Real soldiers from the store till they all gone. Preach. Don't get it confused though, I walk in the light so how can I lose bro? It's my new thing called that wave nouveau A bully with the truth in the hood I'm Devo Yeah, and I ain't even playing Chariot come boy, I ain't even stand Every line's dope, I ain't even got a wham Y'all who will be the plug, I ain't even got a pen Preach! All I do is get richer Pose like a prophet, let a heathen take a picture Turn the mic on, let me tell them the truth It's trying to lie, don't me, let them realize the proof Huh? Wrong game from my Adam's apple. I know you hear me, I'm a church priest, tabernacle. Get free, I'm a break the shackle. I know you hear me, I'm a church priest, tabernacle. Wrong game from my Adam's apple. I know you hear me, I'm a church priest, tabernacle. Get free, I'm a break the shackle. I know you hear me, I'm a church priest, tabernacle. Wrong game from my Adam's apple. I know you hear me, I'm a church priest, tabernacle. Get free, I'm a break the shackle. I know you hear me, I'm a church priest, tabernacle. Wrong game from my Adam's apple. I know you hear me, I'm a church priest, tabernacle. Be free, I'm a break the shackle. I know you hear me, I'm a church priest, tabernacle. Yep, 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 yep. We would like to welcome you to the Truth Be Told Flex Podcast. Hey, when uh Delta dropped that one in the email, I want, well, I saw it this morning. I don't know when she put it in there. You know how I am with emails. But uh, I saw it this morning. I said, yeah, this is her going on the intro. And I was listening to it. I texted her while I was playing. I say, that priest church, I say, they sound like they from the West Coast. She said, yep, they is. I said, I say, hey, hey, I told my wife, you need some dickies. And Chuck Taylor's when you well, listen to that, man, uh, just come uh, to, uh, yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? We was riding and sliding with Woody yeah. and Taylor, and we went straight to Compton. Man, <laughs> yup, I said, they sound like they straight up out the West Coast. You said, yeah. and they is. I yeah, said, I knew I, it. I want to, I, I believe, I've been on his show a couple times. Shouts to True Judah. I believe he's from Oakland. It's either Oakland or I did. I just told my wife that. I said that sound like that E40 music. I said I wouldn't be surprised if he's from Oakland. Yeah. yeah. He talks about some of his testimony with that lifestyle every now and then. And Come good on. brother, man. I, I yeah. good brother, man. Oh, we're gonna have to get him to the show. Yeah, we got to get him on the show. I, I he had a show. I haven't seen him. Uh, I know the last time he had some brothers on, he had a song there. He said he was uh, going to revamp it. That's been a couple years back. So hopefully we can get him on here, man. And yeah, True Judah is a good, good guy, get a uh, good artist, a uh, great dude, great husband, father. Like he's that all around guy that's lived that lifestyle, but came into the truth. All praise to the most high for his grace and mercy. Uh, yeah. him. So his man, you can't hide out. that. You cannot hide that West right. Coast. You can't. you can't hide that. Nah. It's I just like for- the South. 
I was waiting for E40 or Kendrick Lamar to hop in. You, on you did what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll keep talking amongst yourselves. I mean, I mean, I know it's a little different tonight, but (laughs) we need to do some introductions. Yeah, you did. I know, right? Hey, (laughs) just because we're doing this on a different night in a different format, don't mean I don't still have to crack the whip. Come on, guys. (laughs) Right. This is a pre recorded um, episode tonight, and we have, man, the art. Man, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Clifton, Clifton <laughs> Simmons, Clifton, don't don't beat me when you come in, man. Don't Please beat don't beat me, man. <laughs> we got the I Clifton Simmons in the house. Yeah. He is he is going to be um, the comic for um, F three, man. I, exactly. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I was excited to know that we were actually going to have a comedian. I ain't gonna lie when. Uh, I heard Mother Law saying we gonna have a comedian. I'm saying, man, ain't no. I say. Nah, I, I ain't believe it. You know what I'm saying? I went and checked the brother out. He, like I told you, he's not a fly by night brother, no. man. The brother got some skins on the wall. Right. The brother, he is the truth. And if I'm not mistaken, he was nominated. If he did not win, he'll be able to clarify himself as the best comic comedian in, in, in San Antonio. Come on. Man. Um, he'll be able to, yeah, exactly. He'll be able to oh, uh man. Yeah, to clarify that if he was his nominator, if he wanted, yeah. So we don't have, as 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 money logs say, we operate in the spirit of what excellence. Come on, man. exactly. Come on. Yeah, we operate in the spirit of excellence. So with that being said, I'm done talking. I'm sure you should, Judy, your host. We got Ayo Ben Yahoo. We got Benasha Bahai as well. She say that I give her a new title every night. So I ain't gonna say what she is. So, but y'all know what she do. All right. <laughs> She's, every night I give her a new title. I'm the wife with voluntold responsibilities. Right. How about you that? Go. <laughs> there you right. go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm done talking. You got anything you need to say, I yo, before we turn it over to but not. All right. So, well, to, but not. let's do it. Got a few announcements for you guys. So um Obviously, this was this is real bruise with real news. Um, but before we get into our our topics, have a few announcements to share. Um, same one we've been announcing for the last several weeks. Um, F three, our uh, family uh, fringe up event, is happening on July the seventh. Um, that Sunday, we have a, a, a big show playing, from my understanding. Um, don't know who every single one of the artists are, but I do know we have quite a few artists um, coming. Most of them, or quite a few of them, have been spotlighted on our uh, show, Truth Be Told Flex podcast. If you've missed any of those, go back and check them out. Um, it's, Get them on a replay. Yeah, it's, it's going to be epic. So um, just so you know, the, the tickets have increased. Uh, for adult tickets, it's $20 for the Kids tickets is $15, and that does include the kids' zone access. Family package includes two adult tickets, two kids' entry tickets, and it is $55. I, it is my understanding that the tickets will be more at the door. So make sure you go ahead and get your tickets before the day of the event. Uh, the tailgate party is going to be Saturday night, um, July 6th, starting at 9 p.m. Tickets for singles is $25. Couples is $40, $40 and it is 21 and up only. Um, VIP tents at uh, the Fringe Up event on Sunday, $200, um, and that includes uh, one table, four chairs, $40 worth of food coupons, and a personal server slash waiter, and the sale ends June 30th. So if you're interested in that, please, please, please go ahead and go online and and grab your tickets, and you can go to 3mgmusic.com to grab your tickets. Uh, Vendor space, it's the same thing. The sale is going to end June 30th. Um, There's a different um, prices depending on what vendor space you choose to select. Um, so you can go online and check that out, but it's between 75 to $150. Um, and depending on which one you get determines uh, the different amenities that you're going to get. And that sale again ends on June 30th. Fringe Up Family Fest merch. I do believe the merch will be available at the event, but if you'd like to get yours now, I don't know when they're going to stop um, uh sending out because a few people had asked if they could go ahead and make their purchases so they could get shipped out and get their fringes added to their shirts. Um, we'll try and find that information out for you, but, um, $25, $15 and uh, $15 for the hats, um, two different types of shirts, 
personally, you know what my favorite is? It's the the football team, uh, yeah. the football team. Yeah. <laughs> I put in a special request for that one. So oh. Oh. Uh, go ahead and get your go online and get your um, get your gear. Volunteers are still needed. Um, so go to 3mgmusic.com. There's a specific section to volunteer. And I just noticed this on the website today when I was doing some research. There is also um, a section for you to go in and uh, donate money. Um, this event is not free. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. There's a lot that goes into pulling all the artists and getting everything pulled together, including having those um uh, waiters and waitresses that are going to be available, the food vendors that are coming out. Um, but go in and make sure that you either purchase your tickets, volunteer, um, become a vendor, or um, go on and, and donate. So, come. All right. Um, so, Beauty for Ashes, we spotlighted Beauty for Ashes last uh, last week on our show. We're spotlighting them again. Um, the the uh, a uh, person who handles Beauty for Ashes, I say her name wrong every single time, so help me out, guys. Is it Kwate? There you go, sis. You All right, I got it. I got Kwate. it. Ooh. Ooh, I was sweating bullets over here. Uh, I'm sweating bullets now. <laughs> she's going to be taking a, a small hiatus, so um, she's having a major sell on all of her products, um, all of her uh, gear right now, so I'm going to um, just play a little, a little commercial spotlight for her. Right, thirty five percent off sale, and if you don't know who uh, the house of Ayo Ben Yahoo is, you, <laughs> you just met them. You, know, <laughs> you just met them in the commercial. They are all up and through that thing. All praises, all praises, all praises. All, praises. <laughs> all right, um, this is some more of her the gear that she has. Um, she has available. So she got um, some work. yeah, she has some really really nice work. Um, mm -hmm. There are probably four or five shirts that uh, I need to order, and the fringes. They are nice. Like that's not something that somebody just took and glued on there. Not that there's anything wrong with gluing oh, no, if that's yeah. all you her, know how to do. Right. But yeah, her, her fringes her are fringe nice. Tight. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Um, so make sure you go online and and support. Um, like I said, she's gonna be taking a, a break. So if you wait too late, you're gonna miss out. Everything must go. Right. Right. Everything. There's some more. I, I wanted to show the because I knew the commercial spotlight um, went kind of quick, but I wanted people to see the fringes on there. I wish there was a way for me to blow this up so y'all could really see what it looks like. Um, if you have a big screen TV, play this on your big screen TV so you can check out those fringes. <laughs> it is nice, very nice. They they nice too. Like I can't. They thick. They yeah, those, they yeah good, good quality uh, fringes. Yep. Yeah, good texture. Mm -hmm. Good yep. texture. Mm -hmm. like All right. Good texture. Well, that is all for the announcements. Right. And without further ado, um, I think we have uh, somebody in the background you need to bring up. Yeah, he's not up? ready right now, so we'll okay. bring him up. Yep, he just got back. So you can bring that down, don't you? <clears throat> Yeah. All right, then. So, yep, um, as Benat Shala, how you said. Um, without further ado, we're going to bring in our brother, Clifton Simmons. Yeah. I'll be working with these two masters over here, man. I'll be hitting the wrong one every time. There he is. Hey, Shalom. Bro. How you Shalom. doing, man? What up, what up? Shalom. Shalom. Peace and all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yes. It's good to be on the platform yeah. with Brothers in the Truth. Yeah. You know, not every day I'm on a podcast right. with they know the truth truth you know what i mean right so right this is this is the first right. time i've ever been on a you know what i'm saying really so oh wow is that right okay well yeah we're gonna yeah, have I mean, a, a area in this show where we get to ask you some questions and you just 
you just sparked a question for me later on right. in this show. Yeah. Have to redo your notes. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. I got to add this to my questions. Yeah, you just right. sparked a question for me. Um, <laughs> like, um, I was about to say something, man. I have absolutely no idea what I was about to say, but welcome to the show, brother, man. I hope you enjoy yourself. I really do. Um, you know, we just some ordinary people over here. I we we laid back between the three of us, all three of us, we really are goofy. You know what I'm saying? We serious about what we do, but man, we have fun and we laugh and, and we cut up over here and we do our thing, man. We give all the steam to the most high for everything it uh, is we're yeah, everything that we do over here, we do it exclusively for a, for a ministry. And so you know, just for you to be able to come and grace our platform, we do want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cliff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right? I know, yeah. right? All right. <laughs> so normally about this time, we would kick it off and, and have um, our, you know, talk amongst yourselves. And then we'll go into another uh, series of, of questions where we get really in depth and, and deep on some of the um, latest and greatest news that's going on. Um Today we did, we're doing it a little bit different. Um, we are going to kind of do a talk amongst yourselves, but we're going to kick it around. Normally we don't talk too, too much about talk amongst yourselves, but this is just going to be kind of an open uh, free forum for you guys to kind of give your feedback on uh, some of the topics that I came across uh, this week. Kind of had to, uh, what do you call it? Regear really quick from right. doing the show on, on Wednesday night. Wednesday, so yeah. Um, there's a lot going on, but uh, I, I felt like these topics probably resonate with something that we would have gone in depth on anyway. So i um, not going to put anybody on the clock when we do our topics, but um, just watch me for cues. I'll be in the private chat trying to wrap you guys up because I know some of these are going to get hot. Right. So well, what, she, what our, she's trying to say, Clifton, is me and she love to talk. So she's going to get exactly what she's saying. <laughs> put it out there. We like to talk. Man. Right. Okay. okay. Sometimes okay. got to read. <laughs> right. He like, good to know. You, good to know. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> All right. So our, our first one is I'm um, not sure if you guys have heard about this new Louisiana law that requires the Ten Commandments to be posted in the classrooms. Um, so I don't have any questions for these. I'm just going to throw it out there and let you guys go. What are your thoughts? My The first question I had, and I don't know if any of y'all can ask it because I'm old enough to remember. I, I know it's crazy, but I am old enough to remember when we used to say the pledge and, and pray. the prayer. Mm -hmm. So yeah. why did it leave? What was the purpose right. of it? Uh, leaving? Right. What do you say? I don't know. It, were you talking, uh, Cliff? Yeah, I re yeah. I remember. Yeah, I remember when we used to do the pledge of allegiance before school. Uh huh. Yep. I, I would be kind of. Yeah. I would as I got older, I would stop doing it because it felt like it was like some type of ritual. Right. I think we knew the pledge of allegiance more than we knew the Lord's prayer. Right. Right. Yeah, right. And that's the that was the prayer that we did in school in Dallas was the Lord's prayer. Um, but I went to a private school too. I think I still remember, remember the Pleasure Legion. Okay. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah. What, what did you say, Cliff? You breaking so up? Commandments. I, I, I mean, I wonder. Uh, I don't know, man. Hello, hello. Yeah, you can. Mike, okay, check. You good, good now. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Stay right there. Don't move. Okay. Remember, <laughs> I might there. need to get high wire. <laughs> 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 okay. lost so game. Ten Commandments. Know, right. I wonder why they didn't do all six hundred. I wonder why they didn't do all six hundred and thirteen. I think that's a better all. education than what they're giving them. Right. If they try to keep yeah. them all spiritual like we do, trust me, they'd be in line. But that's what they don't want. They don't. They know that, and they've read about it. They know our culture or what they have read, and that was my thing about this. I think with all the years to do this that they used to have it now all of a sudden like we say on this show all the time in an election year here we go it's like uh, they yeah. make it, 
political and then educational and then in these debates and we, I, we that's another topic we're going to talk about later but in these debates it's going to be talking points to see what side go with which candidate to say oh yeah he right about that oh well no well he's got a point that's <laughs> i think it's just it's an election year and the governor who is what we say all the time share the governors all 50 governors of 50 states they're just a couple notches down from the president it's the president it? then yeah. the his staff and then the governors of all 50 states right. and then the mm-hmm. mayors and then the like right. it's they're just a couple notches each, so they know what state going is on. really each state is really independent there you each go. state is like each state is really like its own country oh, but they're franchise yeah. they have franchised themselves to the united states so you, you we say this all the time on the on the podcast is that you got United States of America and the United States are two different things. United States of America, that's the corporation, and each state has franchised yeah, itself yeah, to that. United States is, yeah. It's, they, yeah. Because our birth certificate is a receipt. That's why it says, like, our, on our kids' birth certificate, it says legal guardian. Come on. Like, our kids don't belong to us. Right. Boy, y'all about to go into a whole nother yeah, realm. Know. He clipped it. That's why <laughs> the, state can, the, the state, they come to pick up their kids. Wow. You know, this is exactly, yeah. this is exactly uh, the scripture right. Say, the scripture says that when you get married, you're supposed to uh, go to the father or the, you know, but instead we go to the state and state. we get permission to get married out here. That's that's the difference between public and, and private. private. And, I, and that's the, and that's the yeah. biggest thing on what we're dealing with now is and, and I was and I don't know if you guys had like read that article all the way through, but when I read it, I saw the the, the loophole that they got is that they are requiring that they have the Ten Commandments in. Oh, I got it right here. It says Congress should make no law respect. Oh no, 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 no. That's the uh amendment. Uh, did I put it in my notes? I thought I, I didn't put it in there, but it's saying that they are requiring that they have uh, the Ten Commandments in every classroom, and it's and it also gives specifics too that um, it should be a certain size or whatever, right? But they're not using state funds mm. to furnish them to the schools, so that's that's where that that Ooh. they walk that thin line oh. that yeah we legislating this public but we're taking private funds and that's how we're going to be able to do it because if the public funded it as well then it would have been an automatic shutdown you dig what i'm saying Got but it. because they're taking private funds they can legislate it because the private funder can be like yo this is what we would want to do you dig what i'm saying yeah man the difference between public and private is crazy and a lot of people don't understand that but it's 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 uh it's something that i think especially us as hebrews i think that that's something that we all need to look into and get an understanding on public and private yep, yep. absolutely yeah i took my took my daughter out of public school altogether like we're doing homeschool now yes mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. that's awesome mm-hmm. oh, my daughter is too my daughter is how many children do you have Cliff? i got two that i know of I might have another one out there when I was in the world. You know what I mean? I was rolling stone in 2011. You know what I'm I wasn't sure if I was supposed to laugh. Oh, like, you know, for real? I was trying to figure is he for real? Is he serious? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got a true comedian on deck tonight. So yes, right. I, tell, I tell you this, because I tell him, baby, me and my wife been married 23, 24? 23. Hey, for the oh, first level year. <laughs> the first 11 years of our marriage, I yo, but Clifton, my wife was waiting for somebody to knock on our door with a baby. <laughs> Just- <laughs> There you go. Your turn. <laughs> That's how he showed up on this episode of Martin when he showed up. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes, I got, I got yes, a 17 year old son and I got a 10 year old daughter. Wow. Okay. All praise. All praise us. All praise All right. So he's about to graduate. Uh, as he graduated? Yeah. Now? He's about to graduate. He stayed public. He was already once I started kind of waking up to like mm-hmm. he was too old for me to take him out. Like it was like we might as well keep him. But I filter his mind all the time. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. there you go. Awesome. But yeah, that uh, that Ten Commandments. 
They took commandments in the school in Louisiana. And the crazy thing about that, too, I do want to mention this, is it was something that that lady said in that article that was crazy to me. Uh, let me see if I can find that, y'all. Well, why are you looking for that? I will say this. Um, what I do like about it, it's a, it's a start. You know what I mean? There it is right there. Yep. Yeah, it is. True. I mean, Very true. Go ahead. Oh, uh, this was a... Uh, a Louisiana politician, this is what she said. She said the Ten Commandments are the basis of all laws in Louisiana. Mm. But I paused there because I, I got to thinking I, about the history of Louisiana, I, man. I, was, I said if, if the yeah. Ten Commandments are the basis of y'all laws, I say, look here, man. You, you, somebody lying, either Louisiana line or the laws line, and I don't believe that the laws are lying. You did what I'm saying, right? right. Yeah, right. Right. I want some kosher gum. I would love some kosher gumbo. You know what I mean? Gumbo, yeah, right, <laughs> right, exactly. right. But they got right. a city. I would, love to go to, I would love to go to Louisiana and be like, "Can you make me some chicken wing, please?" Right. Maybe some right flounder. Right, <laughs> <laughs> not the catfish, not the shrimp, the <laughs> or some vegan, or some, ve or some vegan I'll take gumbo. Some vegan shrimp, if vegan that's gumbo. Right. Vegan gumbo would be would be pretty pretty. Oh good. yeah, some vegan shrimp. Yeah, yeah, vegan. Get you some vegan shrimp. Not, not the real stuff. I don't want that. Nah. <laughs> mm -hmm. the, the cockroach of the sea. Oh, indeed, God. indeed. Ooh. Yeah, so yeah. really quick before we move on to the next topic, um, what I find interesting about this is you have a lot of people that are that have come back and said things such as, well, if they're going to post the Ten Commandments, they may as well post the five pillars of Islam, the five precepts yeah. of Buddhism, yeah. the, the Rastafarian commandments, the Dharma of Hinduism. So there's all kinds of things that they're putting out there that they should post. But like Cher said earlier, I'm old enough. He's old enough to remember when we actually had prayer in school. It wasn't until we started allowing certain um, people to sue and letting them win when they sue to say that I don't feel comfortable. They took God out of out of the classrooms anyway. They took God out of school anyway. And, and now that they're trying to put it back, you have all these people making issues with it. And and that's what the lady, real quick, that's what she was saying in the article. She was saying as a research. And uh, as a uh, someone who teaches law around religion and education, she said it was problematic because it's likely to invite litigation at a time, get this, when the Supreme Court's thinking on religion and state is kind of shifting. It ain't mm -hmm. what it once was with the morally values that the Constitution Correct. supposedly had. Now it's this mixture and this blurred lines. And like you said, if they say, Darwinism and atheism. We got to have all the pillars of Islam if you're going to have the Ten Commandments. So in an election yeah. year, I think, like you said, to appease different ones and get money and make it political, it's going to open the floodgates. Yeah, keep your eyes on this one. I think this was going to catch some some steam later on somewhere. I have one question before we move on. I know, I know, I know, I, but I do. I have one question before we move on. America's supposed to be a Christian country, though, right? That was my point. Yeah, yeah it's supposed that was to be. My point. I mean, can you imagine going to Iraq and talking about putting the Ten Commandments up in a school? And not and having it. You know not what I'm saying? It ain't going to happen. So, you know, it, this is supposed to be a Christian country. So, when the Muslims come and the whoever else come and all of them come, it should be an easy turn down because look, this is you know what I'm saying. You this came is, to this country, it's right. a Christian country. We post in our commandments. Period. We post in our commandments. Exactly. Yeah. You go over there. They gonna you don't want to do what, man? Wait right here. I'll be right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Wait, wait. You think, you right think right. the slurping machine broke right today? Right. <laughs> From the wrong place. Right. Yes, indeed. Yeah, no blue eyed, no blue eyed, blonde hair here. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, next up, Biden or Trump? Trump or Biden? So depending on what side of the fence you're on in terms of your um, your values and and what you think about our 487 year old president and and who used to be in office, kind of determines who you're going to obviously vote for. There's so many people saying that they're not going to. Um, they don't want to vote for either one, but it's the lesser of two evils. Um, this is kind of how Trump got in office to begin with because they didn't like who who uh, they had on the docket 
previously um, or who they had available to vote for. So it's kind of how Trump ended up in the office to begin with. So if you have enough people that vote for uh, independent, I don't even know who the independent candidate is, but if you vote for independent, that <laughs> that like may be party. right. Yeah. Who they, who they end up with. But what was interesting about um, uh, this topic is where they were thinking uh, four years ago, how many uh, black voters were definitely Biden supporters. That's not the case anymore. You have more supporters, black supporters for Trump. And they always say it's the black vote. It's the black vote. It's the black vote. Well, what is a black vote going to do? Um, so with that being said, they're t saying that the young black voters are the ones that are leaning more towards Trump. So what are y'all's thoughts on that? <clears throat> What's your thoughts? Anybody can lead off on that one. I, I, uh, I hope I don't lose y'all on this, but uh, <laughs> he already I, mean, I, don't, I don't vote. I don't vote, but nah, nah you don't, don't need that. I don't either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, I thought he was entertaining. I, I liked it because uh, all all my it showed me what whites. You know what I'm saying? I like it when white people are openly racist. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Versus uh, Hi. just being extra overly nice. Right. Like it showed me on my timeline which white people were really racist. When I didn't know there was white friends of mine that I knew for like twenty years that I didn't know was oh. racist until Trump came out. That's right. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's right. Trump, Trump, Trump's spirit I, 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 I really don't trust. I don't. I don't. I don't trust Biden. Oh no! Something ain't right no. about that. Something ain't right. Right. To be. Well, he doesn't even old. know who he is. He don't. He don't. <laughs> most yeah. days. Most days he don't even know where it's he just, is. It's, it's, it's because it, it's be, because his clone is malfunctioning. Right. <laughs> Man, <laughs> look look here, his clone, okay, so if he a, if he hundred and seventeen, his clone must be a hundred. Late age of dog years. <laughs> the oldest president in history at 219 years old. That's an old boy. He be standing there trying to figure out. I'd be like, hey, yeah. he just started walking off the other day. Did y'all see that video? Yeah, he just, like, he just the lady had to go grab him and bring him back to reality. I, to I said, put was. a leash on him. Right. Oh, Obama had to grab him. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. We're going this way. We're going this way. <laughs> he had to grab him. Yeah, man. I. This, I'm I'm with you, Clifton, and I. We can all agree we don't vote for the lesser. We, I, my vote is for the most high. That's good. Yeah, I don't, I don't vote at all. Yeah, right, I don't right. vote at yeah, all. We, yeah. You know, we, we basically they basically, they basically casted out Satan to bring in Lucifer. You know, come on, right? Is what I, is the way I look at it. That's, that's it. Right. That's it. Right. That's it. But, but I will say, but, I personally, I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought Trump was entertaining, though. Yeah, very entertaining. very entertaining. Very entertaining. This is a whole new generation, though, for regarding the question and the article that she brought out. This younger generation, they don't think like the elders. Um, well, the elders, you know, I'm a I'm a Christian and I'm a Democrat. And I you know what I'm saying? This this younger generation, they are more like it needs to make sense to them. Right, you can't just tell them the sky is blue or and sky is green. They just don't go with it. You got to yeah. explain some things. You, you was about to say something but in the world. Biden lost me. Yeah, I was gonna say Biden lost me when he told the people, "You ain't black if you don't vote for if me." You don't vote vote for me. me. They should have lost a lot of us, that but threw it me didn't. Off. But it didn't. It threw. Yeah, I think we can all on this panel. It threw us off, but a lot of us. Yeah, that's right. And I'm like, what? I can, I can, what? Yeah, and they still like, went out and voted for him. And we and still went out. And like I said, we talk, we said all the time on this show. He said that a lot of us are like, bro, that's it. I'm done. But some of us is like, oh yeah, that's right. Went and stand, stood in line, took a day off from work, stood in line to vote. And so, here we go. And still supporting him. Still supporting. Him. Listen to the radio stations. Like radio that. stations are programmed. I was just saying that radio stations are programmed to program oh, the black audience. I noticed oh, that. No, I he, noticed like the Breakfast Club is start. Can't hear me. I lost it. Yeah. Okay. The Breakfast you, Club is started off pretty dope, and then all of a sudden, as they got bigger and more popular, you could tell they kind of start steering us a certain way. Yep. Right. Absolutely. <clears throat> Charlemagne, yep. and then you got. Uh, 
uh, all our celebrities, juveniles, talking about vax that thing up. Uh, Cardi B, <laughs> now she now she was all for him. Now she mad at Biden. Like it's like, bro, come on. and they know it's a million Cardi Bs out here. They know it's a million Charlemagne's yeah. trying to make it. And so again, they know, like y'all said, they pro- you get programmed and a show, a podcast, a radio show will start out one way for the people, but then they gradually, like you, like we talk about all the time, a frog jump in the cold pot of cold water, he gonna jump out. He jump in boiling water, he gonna jump out. But if he jump in lukewarm water, he's gonna swim around and get comfortable, and they slowly turn up the heat, and he won't realize he's being cooked. And that's our people, man. That's exactly what happens. Well, that's you know. Happens. On, on what we talking about, this is a, a, a great explanation of private and public. This is Truth Be Told Flex Podcast. Right now, this is a private entity. We talk our stuff over here, how we want to talk it. But if we grew and got big, and if we got to a size so big, they would make us become public. Once you are made to become public, then you can't talk your stuff no more. You got to talk the talk that you see what I'm saying? That's this what happened is why to YouTube. A lot of business owners, that's what happened to YouTube. And this is why a lot of business owners sell their businesses when it get to a certain size too, because they'll start off small when they start making an, enough money that the FBI, the feds, the federal reserve get notice of it. They'll make them go public. And then they got all of these rules and regulations and stuff that they got to go. That's why, like you said, the breakfast gotcha. club started off dope. They were small. So they can talk that talk, but then when they start getting the notoriety and you know the number one breakfast talk show, now you, you got too many people listening to you. We gotta regulate you. Right. Well, if you notice, um, Charlemagne goes to a lot besides the fact that he has his own night show now. I don't even know if it's still airing. Um, I think I caught one episode, but he's going to a lot of daytime talk shows and yeah. they are asking him his political yeah. opinion, his yeah. political stance on things. Yeah, he's beca- he's absolutely. Becoming a, in other words, what we'll call he is an informant for the government right now to to yeah. to keep to keep uh Van Yacob dead. You know what I'm saying? He's, like a new age. he's, he's, a, he, he, he's the new age. He's the new age Al Sharpton. He's the new age. The, you know what I mean? Like, that's it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That is exactly it. Yeah. But these new these new youngsters though, man. Yeah, they you know, I I don't think that, that Democratic Party is just instilled in them the way that it was instilled in our parents and the way that our parents was instilling it in us. This newer generation is about what makes sense. And they technical, too, which means that uh, money is driving them more than yep. policies. Yep. yep. Money is driving them more than policies. So yeah. which one of these presidents is going to put more money in my pocket at the end of the day? Yeah, I've heard that said probably 101 times from, from uh, some of the youth that work uh, where I work. They all say the same thing. The ones that you would think aren't voting for Trump all say the same thing. I had money when Trump was in office. Yeah. I had money when Trump yeah, was in I office. talk about that. I know I did. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Listen, me too. Count me in. When he was in office, I got the on my on the plantation on my job. I got the biggest. I made the most money. I got the biggest raise I ever seen. And the operative <laughs> word that you said is you made it. See, and that's the difference right. between that right and that left. That left, like the gill. Other people give to somebody. Yeah. No, but, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say. Uh, man. Never mind. I was gonna say, but I did see where Trump did help HBCUs more than any other president. Though I'm not trying to like stick up yep. for him, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. People, a lot of people made that. A lot of people made that out of, out of prison because of Trump. I'm not. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. He, yep. he was the only one bold enough. Biden wouldn't do that. He would Biden would have a press conference and have a paper check up there like he didn't donate it to make it's it about, the Democrats are all about optics, how it looks. Very much so. Trump Very was like, so. look, we going I'm gonna make money, I'm gonna help y'all. Y'all ain't never offended me. Let's get it. Let's get it. And that like yep. you said, Clifton, to me, I, that's more real. Hey, I, I if you more if it's in my face, I tell you what, if, if I wasn't in the truth, if I wasn't in the truth and I was just the average African-American Negro out there, I would be a Republican. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? The value, the values that Republicans generally have are more closely aligned with Christians. So it it's hard to understand why you have so many so-called black people yeah, right. that are Democrats because right. Republican values are very Christian driven. The things right. that they stand for, the things that they don't stand for are very Christian driven. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Democrats are very loosey goosey. Anything yeah. goes. I like that. Loosey goosey. They not even liberals. <laughs> the, yeah, they, 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 go, yeah, they go with the agenda. Yeah, they go with yeah. the yeah. agenda. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Good discussion, man. Good. Yeah. So um great segue. Um Clifton said that that um Trump was entertaining. Well, I think on Thursday like night we're gonna have some we're gonna have some more entertainment because let's get ready to rumble. Yeah. Or if you Biden, stumble. <laughs> so do you guys plan on watching watching Me? the debate? I, I am. What I are wanna... you looking what are you most looking forward to in this debate? <laughs> I'm gonna see how many times they're gonna recharge Biden. <laughs> right. So this is how I how Trump won it last time. Is he was saying like crazy stuff to you know get a rise out of people, so he got a bunch of media coverage. So right. even though some of he was saying was off, you saw his face all over social pay, newspapers. Right. So right. on a marketing level, on a business marketing level, he's yes. gonna say something that throws people off. Right. He, and it's gonna become a T-shirt. He, he, he ain't got to say too much to throw to throw bite now. Right. <laughs> man, listen, I, I, I agree. <laughs> it's always a sound, it's always a one liner. We're gonna do it big, we're gonna win big, and the media yeah. just it's on runs with it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's on sports center, it's yeah. on memes, gifts, yeah. all over the internet. And that sort of takes over something Biden may have rehearsed for months about the budget that could have been true. But that's kind of pushed to the yeah. side because everybody's the optics of social media and television these days ain't what it was in the 80s and 90s. That's well, if you think about it, um, when Biden and Trump uh, were running this last time, Biden really didn't have to, to speak on any kind of policies. He didn't have to talk about anything. All he had to talk about was Trump. There were so many people mad enough at Trump. That all he had to do was bash Trump, just say we need to get Trump out of the office. Trump is a horrible president. He's a horrible person. And then people took took that narrative and COVID, ran with COVID. it. He didn't run on any policies, really. Yeah. Now you're asking. So if I heard you say, Clifton, that you listened to the um, that you made a comment about the Breakfast Club, which lets me know you probably listen to it from time to time. I don't know if uh, yeah, you listen to yeah, it from time to time. Yeah, I used to. I used to be. I used to listen to it faithfully, but. Once I realized yeah. what they were doing, I kind of like fell off. Yeah. Well, I I still tune in um quite quite often in the morning just to hear some of the the discussions that they have, some of the things that are coming up. Because otherwise, I wouldn't necessarily know what's going on. Um, because <laughs> our local news here, <laughs> they, they they don't always give us give us the real news. We get some watered down versions of some stuff, or either we don't get any any real news anyway. But um, one of the things that I hear on Breakfast Club all the time is there is a commercial spotlight that Biden is running when he's talking about um, he he is supporting um, what do, what do they say I I uh, approve this message mm -hmm. the whole commercial is there's what appears to be a white sounding guy coming to knock on a, a guy's door black guy answers the door and he says hey I'm out here trying to get votes for Trump but he was like Trump fool are you crazy i wouldn't vote for trump and so he explains that he wouldn't vote for trump because of what happened january 6th if that had been black people he would have called called us criminals and thugs my vote is for for biden and then the the white guy goes yeah you're right i'm voting for biden too Program. that was it that was the entire commercial and then you hear biden at the end say and i approve this message so 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 in other words <laughs> he's saying in a different he's saying the same thing he said the first time you're not black, black if you don't vote if for you me. Don't vote for me. Mm -hmm. He just reminded black people of all the stuff that Trump has supposedly said that was racist. That's all he's doing. Crazy, bro. So yeah. it's not you can't attack the agenda. He's attacking the person. Correct. That's, That's exactly what he's doing. And 
in politics, that's actually a thing. Political science, that's a thing. Add on. Yep. If you can't, yep. if you don't have a thing to talk about, just sling mud at the person to get him to sling mud back at you. And then that's all what happens. And people forget the actual topics and what's at hand and what's at stake on the ballots. And then they end up voting against yeah. the person that had the most uh, drama in their lives and stuff. So. Right. That's that classic. Pay attention to what's going on over here on the right side. So you don't see what we're doing over here on the left side. Crazy yep. tactic, but it works sometimes. Yeah. It works. They should do an election I'm like jury duty. They should, you know what I mean? If your name get called, <laughs> you the president. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like that. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right. right. They'd be worse. They'd be no right. worse than what we got. Right. And, and, and you got to show up. I, I can't see how anybody go with good. In, in good Conscious. mind state could be even talking about putting Biden back in office. I just, like, I just, yeah, he's not gonna make. He's not gonna live in these next four years. Right, he's already right. gone. I, what you mean? <laughs> he, he he's probably, already, already, he's probably already gone. That's his Doppler. That's it. Yeah, that's it his, is. That's his, <laughs> yeah. that's his Doppler. Like in the that's, movies. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Because if, if it's in the uh-huh. movies, it's true. Right. <laughs> it, yeah. it used to be if it was on the internet, it's true. But now, it's, if it's in the movies, it's true. Hey, exactly. It ain't too far fetched. They're, they're, they're trying to prepare us. I'm telling yes. you, man. You know? Yeah, I, I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, that is crazy, hey, man. I hope like, I'm wrong. I hope, I, hope, I, hope, I, hope I hope I'm completely wrong. wrong. You hope you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Not likely, though. Not no, likely. Right, right. right. <laughs> we hope so as well, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We're going to take oh, a quick. So uh... think... Okay. No, no, no. No, no go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, huh? So, do you think uh, Kamala or Camila is probably just a. Uh, so, he's probably going to die in the next couple of years or the next couple of months. And so, they're going to make Camila the first black. She's going to be the first black woman president. And then uh, everybody's going to. Uh, Get her little hairstyle, and um, they're going to use Chuck's her to push again. Right. They're going to you know, the use her to push that they, they, all the way. Yeah. And the crazy thing, they go to show you, man. I think they be playing with us, like it's they like, don't think to it. They they be yeah. playing with us and, and showing how how simple minded we are as a as as in a totality because Kamala Harris ain't even black. She done been exposed. She a whole Middle Eastern old girl posing to be black because she done went to a HBCU. Her God is Krishna. Do not talk about my daughter. President Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. Do not do it. You know what? Before y'all have us in the vacation, before y'all have us in the vacation home, I'm gonna have to take us to a music break. We got an end zone with Mon Blanc. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Commercial. I'm sorry. Music break, guys. Uh- Monologue in the beer, the hell, why? <laughs> Look around, we at the end, my boy. What is that? That is what we call joy. Yeah, we almost home. Look around, we at the end, little sis. What a time to be alive, such as this. Cause we almost home. Yeah, hold on, cause we almost home. Yeah, hold on, we almost, we almost home. home. We gotta endure it to the yeah, end, though. Hold on, cause we almost home. Like yeah, hold on. The prophecies unfolding in all Ain't no time for us to fumble the ball We gotta answer the call Obeying God like Jesus, Peter, and Paul He changed my name cause I'm no longer a soul And yet I'm keeping the laws And got the faith to go along with it I know most my people blind I'm the clay so I'm gon' spit it Get it? This world enticing, I'm the riddick Save you coming from the seed That's how we know that he's the fitty Woo! I ain't even mean to go that far Great Babylon is falling, we can see that part He saved us before, yeah, with Moses and to see that part The foolish confounding the wise ain't trying to be that smart So look around, it's time to ride Push that pride off to the side No more family issues, brothers, for the twelve, it's time to slide So let's stand on one accord, obey the one that's on the throne Look alive, cause we almost home, we at the end zone Hold on, cause we almost home Hold on, cause we almost home Hold 
That's the bricks of the buildings built around us. This is sufficient enough. We don't respect position enough. I know I'ma join it. Success in my life, but it don't end here. It's been a plenty day, I feel it's till you reappear. Now that's the speech they peace and all that portion. Rapture not a boy, and yeah. we gon' feel here. Revelations thunder, don't feel your oil up way before the morning. Sell your brother out, at least you the morning. The end zone only closest to the boldest. Push the middle with these trousers on your shoulders. We not bitter, but our losses cause they molded. Do the run to me, the verb they should have told us. It's the day we close it. Look around, we at the end, my boy. Didn't, didn't somebody tell me he was done? Didn't he say he was done? Yeah, he, he, he was. Yeah, we told okay, that Negro okay. wasn't gonna be done. Okay. Yeah. He can't even tie. Right. He can't even tie money yeah. long. <laughs> you sure, sure can't. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Exactly. Yeah, man. This is this is uh real good. There he is. He back. All right. All right. Yeah, mother law, my guy. That's him and uh, T Hattie. T Hattie. T Hattie will be at F3. So looking forward to all right. Very nice. Yeah, mother law, T Hattie, right there. Yo, all right. So, um, next up is uh, Skid Row homeless being moved into 600k per unit tower. (laughs) So um, I, I shot you guys that article just because I wanted you to take a look and see all the different amenities that are going to be available to these people um, that are on Skid Row. Apparently, the the concern is that they've tried everything they possibly can try to mitigate the Skid Row problem and nothing seems to be working. So they've gotten very creative and decided they're going to move these people into this tower that has a, a library, a cafe, a kitchen. Um oh, whoa. A uh, dog. I mean, all kinds of all, all kinds of uh, nice amenities. It, it almost sounds like if you have a normal eight to five or graveyard shift job and you're working hard and struggling to pay bills, it almost benefits you to go um, right. live on Skid Row yeah. so that you can get put into one of these luxury luxury homes. My only question though is, what are they having to do in order to? be able to move into these homes the like thing. what's the what's the uh trade off for this i feel like there's something else with this but either way if i were an individual living in the city i would be very upset about what's about to happen with these people on skid row so what do you I guys wouldn't about be to? upset i'm i'm gonna be that dude sitting back looking waiting for the disaster to come uh i saw a clip <laughs> saying something look that's a setup I saw a clicker saying something. I think your mic was muted. I, what, what, were you saying something? I still can't hear you. Oh my bad. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can move into one of the units, but you just gotta vote for Biden. Right. And you gotta how... be vaccinated. Yeah, yeah, I was just saying to say that, yeah, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, that's what I was about to say. You know, it, something coming with the eight. I got a saying, ain't nothing free. Nothing. Ain't no ain't way. Nothing free. There is no way you can move it to six hundred thousand dollar unit, and y'all what? got a bad habit. What? <laughs> Man, bad I mean, habits. if it is, right. if it is legit, I, I, I don't know if have y'all been out there. It's not like a street. It's a whole. It's a whole. It's like a, it's a community. City. Yeah, it's a community. Yeah. I've never seen it, but I heard it's absolutely like horrible to see. Yeah. yeah. And 
that's what I, this is what I truly feel. And I, I, it's not, well, I'm not going to say going off on a tangent, but listen, so, you know, they just, they're building the LA Clippers new arena. So the Clippers and the Lakers will no longer share. It's like a billion dollar. So the value of that city is going up. They don't want, Mm -hmm. that's an eyesore to the city. Is they're gonna do all star games? You got the LA Dodgers, the Lakers, the Clippers. You got champion. That's a championship town, Hollywood, Tinseltown. So now they're they're seeing their tourism and attractions go down a little because of the eyesore of Skid Row. So now they're saying, "Look, we gotta do something about it." And the city is. I mean, the- yeah. Go ahead. Up. Something needs to be done about it, though. You know Absolutely, saying? for real, it's yeah. bad. Yeah, I, from what I, I've never been out there, from oh. what I understand, it's I, I see it on TV. It's crazy to see that man. It's crazy to see needles stuff. It still, ground. it still make me nervous thinking about it, though. And I'm in agreement with both of you guys. Something mm-hmm. needs to be done with it. Yeah. I've never seen it myself either. I've heard about it, right? Um, you can visit it on Google Map. You know, you can go anywhere you want to if you just really want to see it. Uh, yeah, Google Map. It'll pull it right up to you on your laptop. Um, but we got to think. This is California. The cost of living in California is crazy to begin with. Um, a guy was telling me the other day that he is a project manager for an electrical company. And he was sitting down there. He said that. No, he was in Vegas. I'm sorry, not in California, but I believe Vegas and, and California cost the same place. Is pretty much during the same. He was saying the Greenhorns was pulling up never, I mean, with very little experience whatsoever, making $45 an hour. Now, in Texas, you'd be like $45 an hour. Where at? Sign up. You make $45 an hour in Texas, and I'm sure probably in North Carolina, South Carolina, where you at too, you balling. You're not balling with $45 an hour in that California. That ain't, boy, that ain't nothing. Yeah. I, believe that they, I believe that they, uh, fast food workers is making like $23, $25 an hour because of the cost of living. So now you're talking about people, like you said, I yo, they got bad habits. I'm thinking, to, it's a tower. Think of Cabrini Breed. Uh, Cabrini That's the Green. first thing I thought about. You know what I'm saying? Good times. This is a tower. So, yeah, it's starting off like this, sir, but say, in my mind, this is a mousetrap. I'm not going to lie to you, man. We we talking about people who you have looked over for years. Now, all of a sudden, you're trying to put them in a multi-million dollar facility with all of these uh, amenities. Something is coming with this here. This is not just to get you off the streets, just to clean up the streets. This is, look, we're going to feed you, and it's the only thing that you can eat. And it's full of GMOs or something. I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't want to be a part of that. I, I would I would be the one. I would run from it the same way I run from the jab. You know what? Me and my box, we've been doing pretty good. What's his name on the living color? Taiwan? That is H1? <laughs> no, that was, that, was me, that was me and on film. You oh, know, no, not H1. Yeah, 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 I say that. We do it. Yeah, but yeah, that uh Damon Wayne, not Damon, was it Damon? Yeah, it was Damon. Yeah, right. it was Damon, yeah. I, I be Damon Wayne and me, me and my box, we've been doing good this whole time. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. I, I wouldn't want to go. I'm just yeah. being honest with you, man. Yeah. But there are so many people who are gonna want to go because they've I'm been cool. in that situation for so long. Absolutely. This this is an out for them. They're not thinking about the the other side of it, like what they're having to give up, all they see right now is what they have to gain. Uh, gain. I'm sorry, I I cut you off. Oh no, no, no! I was just saying you is and it, and a lot of most people on ski road, from what I've researched and understand, they're not they weren't drug addicts at first. They were doctors and lawyers who may have got let go from a firm or a doctor who just may have had some hard times and had to leave work for a little bit and just couldn't get back on their feet and ended up homeless and on skid row. That's Which is easy to do here. when you're paying, man. You folks from California, they come to Texas and see family. the size of our houses in Texas and how much we pay for our houses. They be mind blown, yeah. man. They be like, what? You pay what a month? 
Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> I think I've mentioned I think I've mentioned this before, but I worked um uh I did a contract for a company that one of the projects that I was responsible for was figuring out where a lot of people live because most of the people on this uh that work for this company were remote. So if you live in California and your salary is say $140,000, you're getting $140,000 because you live in California. That same salary is not going to translate in Texas. In Texas, you may only be making $90,000, $85,000, right? But what was happening is you had these people who live in California, California have these California addresses, have these California salaries moving to Texas and some of these other places where the cost of living is cheaper and still keeping that salary. So we spend a lot of time um, getting people's w W W4s redone, um, getting some additional information, telling them we've got to ship this stuff out. So what they would do is they would say, yeah, yeah, ship it to that address. They fly back home to that address, go pick up whatever the item is that we shipped out and then come back to Texas. Yeah. But yeah, that's what a lot of them were doing because the cost of living in California is ridiculous yeah so clifton i question so you've seen that for you've been out there to see that firsthand yes i, I i've been oh, multiple wow. times and uh you see families bro. you see oh, families good gracious yeah but wow. also i noticed a, a lot of mental issues a lot of drug addicts wow um so i think some of it's mental health some is drugs and then some of them it's just expensive to live in california when I was there, I was there for a couple of days. And so I had to ask myself, could I survive in California? And uh, wow. I didn't, I was able to get a job real quick. I didn't take the job, but I just wanted to see, is it really that bad right. out here? You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. right. Wow. Oh, man. But I know I heard my house, I have a house, I bought a house in San Antonio, but I heard my house in California is like $800,000. I got a two hundred thousand dollar house. Yeah. 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 That's easy. Yeah. The market yeah. is crazy. Yeah, you like you say crazy. easy. That's easy. And what I think is L.A. and Orange County. Those mm -hmm. are the two highest counties yeah, in America. Something like that. Orange County. That's crazy, man. I, yeah, that I, is insane to see. I wouldn't. I wouldn't live on. I wouldn't. I wouldn't live on Skid Row. I'll go live on Venice Beach. If I was homeless. That's another <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Right? They, I, I mean, shower. Right. Right. The, 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 when you wash off, when you're coming in. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a little bit I can, of privacy. I can, hustle, I, can hustle, I can hustle the, the tourists. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because people yeah. come to Venice Beach. Yeah. Nobody yeah. just intentionally right. goes to Skid right. Row right. unless that's where you're right. going or you're looking oh, for somebody. Right. Right. That was me. I, I, I went to Skid Row. <laughs> You were <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I took the kids too. They're like, Man, uh, hurry up, get us out of here. They're, like, they're scared. Man, you were... <laughs> you want to give them the full experience. Oh, I'm, I'm weird. I'm weird like that. When I went, I like to go. I like to go and look at everybody's hoods. Like I, I've been to Gaza. I've been to uh, Juarez and El, like by El Paso, uh, Ch Chicago uh, on the south side in the Hunnets. Right. That was the most, out of everywhere I've been. It was more scary in Chicago. To me, the scariest place I've ever been was in Chicago versus Gaza. Personally, I know that's hard to believe, but nah, thought, that ain't hard to believe. That ain't, wow. Yeah, that ain't hard to believe. You are a bold man. Boy, yeah, that ain't hard. On the south side, he sound like Charles the White. <laughs> he said like Charles, Charles the White said he go to every hood. That joke. That joke yeah. said he got yeah. dropped yeah. off in the blood. Wow. <laughs> Whatever, whatever you yeah. said, say it again. We missed it. I, I went to Compton, walking freely. No one approached me. You know what I'm saying? I went to Queens. No one approached me. Like, and I went to like the projects in uh, Queen by Queensbridge in New York. Oh, Queen, yeah, 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 it's yeah. That's real chill. You know, I'm not saying they ain't about that life, but right, right, saying? right. Yeah. For those right. who are watching, for those right. who are watching. right, right. But yeah, Chicago to me right. was the scariest place. Yeah, I, I believe it. All right. Yeah. I believe it. Well, believe it. wow. If if y'all want to live in the lap of luxury, move out to Skid Row and see if you get an invite to the tower. Nah, I'm good. All right. Next up. <laughs> What's <to> say? Yo, <laughs> I'm, I'm, good. I'm, I'm, I'm great where I am. Right. I'm, I'm uh, good. 
got Valentina Gomez. Oh. If y'all don't know who Valentina Gomez is, you're going to find out tonight. Valentina Gomez made some statements, made some comments. She basically tried to to say black people need to go wherever black people came from. She, you know, we need to take a, a fast track back to somewhere else because um, we don't need to be here. That's what she said. Um, what she said. Well, she said some other hot stuff that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat, but um, yeah, she she's a piece of work. She she is definitely a piece of work. Um, I had never heard of her before. I had never heard anything from her. Um, I'm not sure where she came from. I don't know if she's she's been um, in politics before or if somebody implanted her and decided they wanted her. To, to throw this out there it, to see if she could be just as diabolical as uh, some of these other crazy politicians. But um, did y'all hear the speech? Did you hear her, her, her speech? What, what were y'all thoughts on it? I, you, your first initial thought is to get mad. But then once the Ruach kick in, it's like, for what? What it, we know these people is like this. And she's been around for a little bit. So she's running for Missouri Secretary of State. But she's done like, you know, we talked before what they do, they'll be an alderman. They'll come, they'll migrate here and they'll go, they'll, the plants, the industry plants, they'll let them go through the rigmarole and then they'll work as an intern for the governor at, and stay at the governor's house for a summer at, when they're in college. And then once they get out, they go to the governor's house and then they'll they'll do the intern. They won't make no money. And then they'll uh, get a job working for somebody's campaign. See, this is how they do this stuff. And so somebody will hear her story. She'll have a write up in the newspaper. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, now she's running for Missouri, uh, Missouri Secretary of State talking jump. This is how her career has been. And I, my first initial response was, with that heavy accent, how you telling me to Man. go back where I came from? Right. You can't even, you were talking like this. You weren't even born. Right. I, you're not born <laughs> here. I was born in these places. Not saying I want to be here, but I was born here. So that I'm right. like, what is that was my first initial reaction. Like, how you gonna tell me and my ancestors that reparations getting shoved down our throat and now you're talking about BLM? I don't support BLM. Like who like you talk who you what demographic do they have you talking to and speaking to is my thing. Right. That's and I'm glad that you said that, I yo, because who she is trying to impress. Have you ever seen that them people that they be trying to impress people that they don't care to anything about them? Mm -hmm. you know the right, 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 right. And, and that's what she's doing. She's trying to fit in so she's trying, she's trying, she wanna see that the country club. Right. Not knowing that if when you come to the country club, the only right. thing they're gonna have for you to do is to wait. You're gonna be a waitress at the country club. Yes, yes. You ain't gonna have or, to see or it. clean or clean up. Or clean or up clean or clean up. There you go. Because I guarantee you, she just walked in outright. Nobody know she's not escorted with anybody famous or any um popular politicians. When she walk in, the first thing that they're gonna assume she's there to do is work. The same way they would assume Wait. one of us was there to work. True story. We move. Oh, you all right? I, I, hit, I hit my hit that funny bone. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we moved into this house and when we had moved to East Texas and I saw a brother cleaning the pool. I yo, what my wife is saying is true. I'm guilty of that. I saw a brother, oh, yeah. I saw sure a brother cleaning the pool. I just automatically thought the brother was the pool cleaner. So I'm talking to him. He chuckled. Real nice guy. We became really close friends. He was my next door neighbor. He chuckled. He said, I forgot what he said. It's been so many years ago. I tell you, I tell you exactly what you said. What I Let said. me stop talking to you before I get you in trouble. You're supposed to be out here cleaning these people pool. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Damn. 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 Right. That's yeah. Wow. She it's my pool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Say. <laughs> So you take me talking to a brother, you take this chick and take her to the country club. She just walk in the country club. They gonna automatically think, hey, somebody gonna be like, say, you know, two two drinks for you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, the mop in the room uh, was that way. Two right. martinis shaken, not stirred, please. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Two olives, not one. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> are you up on what we talking about, Clifton? We talking about Valentina Gomez. 
Yeah, Valentina Gomez. Say, when I first saw the video, I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was a Saturday Night Live yeah, skit. Yeah. I said, this can't be true. I went straight to Google to see if this chick was for real. Yeah. She was for real. I'm gonna see if the video will play. My wife said we probably should play it because yeah, it's hey, bold. Yeah, for me, bro. Yeah. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. I'm just gonna be able to hear it. Like my, uh, Can y'all hear that? Knocked out the Wi Fi for a second. years old there is no way in the world you can have that strong of an opinion at 25 years old about slavery on I, top of that i bet i got shoes older than her man what you talking man i, I you know i have a t-shirt older than her <laughs> i know that for a fact Kylie, get i have a t-shirt older than her <laughs> if if okay hey, I, so if go ahead bro go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead Oh no, I was thinking the same thing. I actually do got a t-shirt too. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. Look. How you, Look. Man, if how, how you gonna tell me just because I wasn't a, a literal slave that I'm not due because reparations. If, right. If 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 your daddy stole my daddy's car and fixed it up and made money off of it. And then if I pass away, but my son say, hey, that's my granddaddy car. I'm coming to get my granddaddy car. You can't. It's still his granddaddy he's car. Still, he still yeah. owed that car. Absolutely. Yeah, you stole it. So, Valentina Gomez, I don't care what you're saying. You I cannot tell me to get, the, you can tell me get to get out of nowhere. I was born here. So, you give me the money. Yeah. I can't say what I really want to say. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> I just, say, I just say the latter end of it. Pay me. Right, pay me. <laughs> pay me what you owe me. She, she out of pocket, though, for real. I, she I, way I, out of pocket. pocket. Somebody set her up for that. She didn't do that on her own. No, well, she got, I think, somebody turned her key. Well, I think what happened is, like I said, they, they come over here. She came over here at 18 as a migrant illegally, but she got her green card and visa. So that's a that's a check mark on a testimony to tell the people they go to a university in that university they'll take a class to work at the governor's mansion during the summer as an intern check mark mm -hmm. then they'll run for office a sm something small secretary of state in missouri we all know how missouri the uh uh, uh a dread scott law still in the books check mark so now what she just did she may lose secretary of state but y'all she just solidified a job right. on a campaign forever right oh absolutely somebody. right so absolutely but she has the same thought process that a lot of migrants whether legal or illegal come over here and have That's about mean, black like people yeah, anyway yeah colombians they can't stay yeah colombians i'm sure you see a lot of that in in san antonio huh Clifton? yeah uh, I, I i was just a few days ago i was of like when when they come over Right. Um, yeah, I mean, I think they go more further. They, I think they they keep going actually. Um, but I do see where, like, I was in Progressive Mexico. Um, cause we're not we're not too far from the border out here. Right. Right. Um, so you can get like a lot of stuff for cheap in in Mexico, and uh, when you go through processing, you don't just see Mexicans coming over. You see like Haitians. You see Russians. Uh -huh. You see Chinese yep. people uh guatemalans um wow and they're in i'm talking about there's like a um there's mexico there's united states but there's this thing in the middle where you see people going through processing and they don't they, they don't look mexican at all been around mm -hmm. mexico my whole life wow you know what i mean they look like south american or something yeah Colombia. Well, yeah. a yeah. lot of them implant in here in houston because we have so many different 
Spanish speaking nationalities here. We don't just have Mexicans here in, in Houston, as a lot of people would, would think. We've got yeah. El Salvadorians, we've got Hondurians, you've got Mexicans, you've got Puerto Ricans, you name um you name it, we have it here in Houston. Yeah, Houston is Nigeria. one of the most uh diverse cities in the nation. It, wow. it is. Wow. It, it absolutely got how many is. different languages they say spoke your name, line, you know type of work I do. I, I, you know, I'm an electrician by trade. When I first got here, I was, I was building a, a dentist office and it was a dude came in there looked like he was my uncle. Looked like he could have been one of my uncles. And I needed to ask a question. I asked him a question and he just looked at me. And so I asked him again and the brother said, me know it's been no. <laughs> I see you. You can't. I'm trying to say, man. You look like you know what I'm saying. You look just like you. Like you can be your own. You like me. What you mean? You don't okay. speak English. Right. Mean? So the whole the rest of that day, I'm for real. I'm like tripping. I'm like I'm looking at him, but I'm understanding. Even though, well, he is us. Okay, let's get that clarified. He is us. Just a, another bus, a uh, boat stop, right? Oh, uh, yeah. but. Uh, that language barrier, though, man. Yeah, that was that was that. Yeah, mm -hmm. different. Yeah. yeah, they they be getting work permits. You can like go get some workers and give them some, have them uh, build you a deck and then drop them back off in Mexico. That's or That's they don't. Have to so you can, they don't never do nothing about the border. Well, you can do that closer to the border, but now there's starting to be a lot of issues with uh, a lot of those migrants getting work um, because of some of the different federal laws that Republicans have put in place. Uh, I'm a testament to it. Every single day at work, we have people that, that can't get jobs with us because they can't get all of the right credentials. So, Hey, it's a real story before we move on. I was building a, a, a school in Dallas. And, yeah. well, you know, you know, here in Texas, Clifton, the illegals, they, they do all the sheetrocking and concrete pouring and stuff like that in the buildings. So we building this school and somebody said immigration was coming. Say so it wasn't number, it wasn't, it wasn't number. Niggas and white boys left in that school. <laughs> say you Mexicans bad. Say when I tell you them jokers got the running and the scan, say six, seven months jumping on the back of a pickup truck, say they boom. They out of there. They was gone. They leaving tools behind. They was up out of that vigilante taco stand. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, immigration, say that I ain't never in my life. They were scattered like roaches with the light on, man. The jokers was gone. Yes, indeed. <laughs> no mind. No mind. All right. Well, we got a got another music break, no guys. We're about to yeah. about to hit this next. You enjoying music yourself, break. Clifton? Oh yeah, I'm loving it. I, we got to do this again. Oh yeah, man. After every, yeah, we got to see you every. We got yeah, we got to have you back. Yeah. Bam, bam. That's, you That's the villain. That's why he got disconnected. Let let us see. Let us see. Let us see the that, culprit. That's the culprit. I live in an area where we, we got a lot of scorpions in my uh my, my I live in a new community and we got a lot of scorpions, so she yeah. uh she scorpion uh, killer that for me. I already <laughs> earned her key. She, yeah, she looked like she she tear up some stuff too. Yeah. Boxing the death. Pop, pop, pop. Right. <laughs> some some skippity pets. <laughs> Get them skippity pets. Them scorpions <laughs> trying to run up out of real fat. Nah, nah. Right. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, I think she was playing with a wire. <laughs> oh, that's why y'all okay. Wow. Yeah. All right. Oh, so our next uh, music break is "Never" by Just Is. All right. Never. It's always when I can't make it through. Make it through. Teach me how to love like you do. Like you do. The good and bad, your mercy shines through. Never seen a love like yours. Like yours. A modern life, it always opened doors. Always have an ear to hear me. Even when I don't see you clearly. I never seen a man just forsaken. 
Don't don't ask him to mimic it. Don't don't ask him to. You talking about, uh, you talking about that run at the end? That was uh, Yashim, but that was listen. Yashim, Yashim different out here. So we gonna be able to get all three of y'all on here. Yeah, we will. I, we got we some announcements get... coming up soon. We might might be a video in the making. I ain't don't... Okay, all right. Yeah, they gonna have on. The, uh, y'all ain't gonna be in the desert, right? No, we ain't, no, we ain't gonna. No, nah. <laughs> <laughs> man, you have uh, Casey, JoJo, Dalvin, and Devonte really mad at me out here, man. Right. Like, yes, yes, man. Yes, like we get it, man. And we doing that. You know them, the homies from Charlotte. So that, you can't be doing that, man. We the only, we the only one that could do that. So now nah, it won't be. Hey, thing, but it's, it's gonna be. You know that's one of my favorite songs, I yo. By them, um, and so oh, on Facebook, somebody oh, I don't know who was it. Somebody had posted a picture of them in the desert in that leather. And it says she's only been gone an hour, dog. Give us some time. You out here in the desert in leather. You in the desert in leather. It just gave me a whole new perspective of that song. She's only been gone an hour. She only been gone an hour. S curls and everything. Right. I'm crazy for that, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, yeah. All right. Well, next up is our Beyond Critical Race Theory, and yeah. this is presented by Ayo Benya. Yes, one of our this favorite. This is the learning segments. part of the show. Yes, one of our favorite segments of the show is when we come and we learn the whole show and we get, you know, all the information we have. All praise to the Most High for allowing us to be able to have access to the information. But this part is what. They are trying, well, not trying, they've pretty much taken out of our schools a part of our history that they do not want us to know about. Uh, the Beyond Critical Race Theory segment part of the show is where we talk about beyond critical race theory, which is beyond it, it's critical race facts. 
And each week we look at someone, one of our ancestors who did something great and just that we don't hear about on TV or in our schools. And this week, again, as the number, I, I don't know how many consecutive weeks in a row where I never heard of the person or never heard of it. Uh, sometimes I catch one where I've heard of it before, but then forgot about it. But again, this week, just like the numerous weeks before, we've heard about somebody, we're going to learn about somebody that I've never heard of. And I think we have a small clip before we go we into it, but let's be introduced. Truth Be Told Flex Podcast family, Clifton Simmons, let's introduce everybody to Alice H. Parker. 1800s relied on burning coal or wood to heat their homes. This method of heating sucked because the heat usually was hottest right in front of the fireplace, which left the rest of the room cold. On December 23, 1919, Alice H. Parker patented the first furnace powered by natural gas that was for homes and offices. Her invention would suck in the cold air and exchange it with hot air. It would then distribute that hot air to the different parks of the home. Her invention was the first to have individually controlled air ducts that would distribute heat throughout the home. Parker played an important role in the development of the central heating systems that keep us warm today. Alice H. Parker was an African-American inventor famous for her patented system of central heating using natural gas. In the 1920s, using natural gas to power a heating furnace was a revolutionary idea that conserved energy and paved the way for the central heating systems we all have in our homes today. Parker's patent was filed on December the 23rd, 1919 for her heating system invention. Her design allow cool air to be drawn into the furnace, then conveyed through a heat exchanger that delivered warm air through the ducts to an individual's rooms of a house, to individual rooms of a house. The concept of central heat was around before Parker was born, but her design was unique because it used natural gas as its fuel instead of coal or wood, as the video explained, that had been previously used. Parker is said to have been inspired for her design because she felt her fireplace was not effective enough in warming her home through the cold New Jersey winters. And, and, I, and my wife is from Jersey and it's, them winters up there get cold. Her invention was convenient because it meant that people did not have to go outside and chop wood or buy coal. It also decreased the risk of house or building fires that heating units pose by eliminating the need to leave a burning fireplace on throughout the night. Although her, init although her initial designs were never used, her idea that natural gas and ducts could be used to heat different areas of a house was a major step towards the heating systems we use today. Very little is known about Alice Parker's life. She was born in 1895, grew up in Morristown, New Jersey, and attended classes at the famous Howard University Academy in Washington, D.C. The academy was a high school connected to Howard University, and in 1910, Parker earned a certificate with the honors from that academy. Parker's filing a patent was a remarkable milestone as she was an African-American woman in the early 20th century since her filing for a patent preceded both the civil rights movement and the women's liberation movement, which subsequently removed many of the barriers that women of her generation faced. At this time, African-American women had very limited opportunities, and Parker's receiving of a patent for her invention during that time was a truly unusual and outstanding achievement. Indeed it was. Parker. Man, I had no idea. What, what's your thoughts on that, guys? I had no I had never heard of this. So, you know, I, uh, in order to support um, your Beyond Critical Race Theories, I always try and go find uh, pictures or things that we can, you know, put out there to, to show to people. And I could not find any evidence right. of Alice um, uh, H. Parker. The One of the pictures they had up was actually of another Black female um, inventor who was, her and her husband um, specifically were known for... Um, inventing the um, home security system. Mm -hmm. They had her picture associated 
with uh, this heating system that Alice H. Parker came up with. And then the woman that they have that specifically um, is generally uh, um, connected to uh, the heating element is supposedly a white lady who was born five years after Alex H. Parker got this patent. So um, there's a lot of missing information, but one of the articles that I read said, this is what happens when we don't get the opportunity um, to tell our stories because we weren't allowed to share our stories and, and publish our stories the way that they needed to be published and shared. A lot of our history is missing. So sometimes it takes us, um, a lot of digging to find what we're able to find, but just being able to find this piece of information, I think was, uh, was amazing in and of itself. Yep. Especially so with her having a patent. Cause that didn't happen yeah. back then. Yeah, it didn't happen back then. And yeah, I, I looked and I could not find anything else. I'm like, man, it's nothing. So I yep. scrounged that little article up and it's like, wow. Let that you know by itself that it was a sister or uh, brother, a sister or brother that did it when you can't find no information. It had to be somebody white. Boy, oh, you'd have had a whole, they'd have had a whole day gone. <laughs> would have been a they have been wrote a book on it. Yeah. <laughs> It'd been everything, but yeah, yeah. Alice H. Parker, patent for the uh, patent system of the central heating using natural gas, man. Crazy. Mm -hmm. crazy, 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 crazy. You got any thoughts on that, uh, Clifton, at all? I can't hear him. Mute it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, nothing too much diff far different from what y'all said. I mean, a lot of inventions have gotten covered that. I mean that we've done that have never really been known. Like usually the uh the slave masters got that right. patent. Right. So right. like, there was a lot like of other I, I thought Go ahead. I thought George Washington only did peanut butter. Apparently he had a whole bunch of other inventions too. Oh, man. So, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean I was, my little six year old last year, my seven year old, he was six at the time. He did a Black History Month presentation on George Washington Carver, and you're right; it was a whole slew of a whole litany of inventions, and inventions. stuff he did. But all we heard in school was the peanut. The peanut. Yeah. That's all we heard. That's all they taught us. That's, that's all they gave him credit that's for. All they gave him credit for. That's that's yeah. it. But it was so many other things, man. You're right; it's the slave masters or the taskmaster usually got the patent for it, and they still get the credit to this day. It's sad, man. No. Yes. yes, indeed. Yeah, that was a good one, there, man. I, I, every time I walk in the house, though, from the heat and into the house or the air condition, you ask my wife, I always say, Well, it had to be somebody black created this air condition. I <laughs> <laughs> like, Look, man, <laughs> that necessity, look, man, look. I said, it's Somebody black did this, man. <laughs> it had to be one yes, of us. Had to be one else to do it. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Well, all right. We are now in the part of the show where we get to um, ask and dig in and talk to our artists. So, um, Clifton Simmons, this this time is all about you. So, we'll ask you a few questions and you give us some stuff that uh, we don't necessarily know that you feel like we need to know about you. Yeah. Normally, we uh, would have... If we was live, we would have the chat, and they would ask yeah. you questions as well. Right, so. Okay, yeah. for next time, man. Uh, there you go. There you go. Um, a little bit about myself. Um, I'm from San Antonio, born and raised. Uh, been in the truth since I was 19. Wow. Uh, okay. I don't wow. just do uh, stand up. I'm a uh, I'm an ordained minister. Wow. I can do what I can do weddings. I can do trap weddings, Israelite weddings, traditional he weddings. Trap trap weddings. weddings. You sound like Micah. I can, <laughs> yeah, I can do I can do funerals. I can do Israelite wow. funerals. Wow. I can do regular funerals. Did uh, you do the online do ministry? The online you get your license yep. online. Univer Univer yeah, Universal Life Church online. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too cool. Too cool. <laughs> Uh, on, on, honorary, on, honorary doctrine, you know, what right? I mean? right. Uh, <laughs> I'll send y'all the link, it's a great tax write off, too. Right, <laughs> oh, that's man. awesome. Uh, what else? 
Uh, so no, you- I've been doing comedy for fi- I've been doing comedy for fifteen years. Wow. Um, I really enjoy it. Uh, I get to travel, see the world, especially uh, about. The, I've got to connect with y'all. Um, yeah, I like yeah, to yeah. tell people it's my ministry. Um, at one time, I did stop for one year because I felt like uh, some of my brothers out here, my, the camp that I attend out here, uh, kind of made me feel like you wicked ock. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You need to stop doing stand up. You know what I mean? Follow, follow Christ. You know what I mean? Become fishers yeah. of men. But I thought about it. Uh, he said, "Follow me and become fishers of men." Come on. Well, fishers they use bait. They use lures. Come on. Uh, the real people, like the real, the fish in. So um, some people open up with me more than some people are not gonna. Not everybody's gonna come in uh, through street te- through street teaching. Right, you know right. I mean? It's different lures for different fish. Come on, man. Wicked, I put that pork sandwich down. <laughs> hey, sis, you look like a whore. Take that makeup off. Like, not everybody's going yeah, <laughs> to the yeah. kingdom now. Some people are, though. Some people need right. that. Right. Some people need that hardcore. You're right. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they be doing on the street. <laughs> well, that's, that's, right. So hard. that's right. <laughs> That's right. Bring it out. <laughs> I see you with the Christmas tree over there, brother. <laughs> Give me Jeremiah. <laughs> Damn. They be reading hard, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They be reading hard. <laughs> they be reading hard. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. Wow. So, uh, no, at one time, I, I felt like, oh, man, I, I really need to uh, stop. But, like, I've been able to help my brethren and my aquas um out here through the entertainment like when they when people want to have date night i'm able to set them up with where to go around town or um one time i was able to get the whole comedy uh club for passover mm-hmm. for free really? you know what i mean wow. and so wow. That's awesome, man. You know, yeah. So it's true. It's, it's, it's a hard. real ministry. That's ministry. That ain't just yeah. Oh, I'm a comedian. Is you a minister? Like, wow. That's that's what's up. That's what's up. And I did. I, and I did get lost in the sauce at one time. I started feeling myself, and the Most High humbled. He he stung me hard and humbled me, yeah. and made me realize that oh yeah, we're not here for all that. You know. What right, I mean? right, 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 right. I, I can imagine. <laughs> I can. Most I do. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that it's easy to do. Um, because you don't work with some big names. Have you not? Yeah. Uh, I think one of the I names have, that I've seen, one of the bigger names that I've seen was D.L. Hughley. What is he like, man? Because there's something about D.L. that from the outside, I... Just, what is he like? Yeah, okay, my bad. Yeah. To be 100, D.L., like, that was one of the first, uh, like, actual celebrities I ever worked with. He gave me, like, several opportunities. Um, I grew up watching him. Um I got to interview him twice. Wow. Uh, what else about him? Um, now, yeah, he My gave me a guest spot. Me, <laughs> he, he gave me a guest spot, but uh, sometimes, uh, if, I don't know if this is going to get picked up, but uh, sometimes I feel like I think he's he's gotten way political lately, like yes. way yes. political. And I think yes. he does that because he gets a rise out of his fan base. Yep. He do you know what I mean? Because I'm like, he can't agree with all this stuff. Right, right. So, right. I mean, he might. He might agree with all that, but right. some of this stuff, I'm like, really? Yeah. Right. Yeah, because I listen but, to uh, he is, and he's He is the OG. He is the OG. He's very talented. Yep. And like I said, he, he gave me a great opportunity very early wow. on, like over 15 years ago, wow. um, to open up for him. So uh, wow. and he tried to holler at my mom, too. You know? Oh. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> wait, wait, we wait, wait. we tell the truth over here and expose all <laughs> lies. <laughs> okay, he, fl- he, he he flirted he flirted with my mom a little bit. He didn't know it was my mom, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> wow. That's oh good. my! That's wow. My bad. Right. Hopefully his wife. Right. Oh my! I'll be the same. Ain't that brother married? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a question though. You say you've been in the truth. How how you've been in the truth? How long you, you was how old? 
Uh, since I was 19, uh, I want to say since 2007. Okay, since you was 19 and you've been doing comedy for 15 years. Um, mm -hmm. It seemed to me that it's a lot of people in the industry know the truth. Am I correct about that? Oh, yeah. A lot of people in the industry know the truth. You got... Uh, it's uh it's it's all the way out there like for sure for sure um and then if it, if they don't know um there's people that i have purposely i planted seeds in like you know i i wasn't just only do i was doing com yeah I, I say i've been doing comedy but i worked as a door guy for 13 years at uh laugh out loud comedy club and um i used to be the you know the bag boy i used to be the driver I used mm -hmm. to pick up the celebrities and I, I would plant little seeds and stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, um, that's crazy. Wow. I'm pretty sure right. some of those seeds have grown, or maybe I might have been watering a seed someone else had already planted. It already planted. So, right. uh, no, okay, because you got Kendrick Lamar. You know, you know, he yep. knows the truth. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Chingy. Chingy knows the Chingy. truth. Yep. Nick Cannon. Let's yep. see. Nick Cannon knows the truth. Right. DC. Yep. I've actually worked. I gave uh DC Young Fly a Hebrew workbook. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. He knows. Yeah, he, yeah. He, yeah, he knows. Wow. Yeah. Uh wow. let's see. And so you got that then if he knows, then the whole 85 they, South show they knows. Know. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. Because uh, yeah, they were at the, at a game rocking fringes one time. Uh oh wow. Let's see. Um, Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown, they've been to, to Demona, Israel. Yep. They visit Demona, Israel. That's right. Let's see. Um, Kyrie doing that. I was just about to say video. Kyrie Irving. If, that, if, if, if our family and friends didn't know, they had to know around it. Everybody had to know after that. Cause I got so many phone calls when the Kyrie thing happened and the whole wow. Kanye West thing was going. I got so many phone calls from people that made fun of me and mocked me over the years. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. hey, man, wow. you know, Shalom, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he was right. right. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now they it long long take somebody like right. that. Did y'all get the somebody. same thing? Yeah. Uh, Everybody, yeah, blows, yeah. all y'all family yeah. members that used to make yeah. fun of you and mock yeah. you? Yeah. I got a couple, couple homies is like, yo, Kyrie was saying no, something. No, I looked, I watched said. Hebrews and Negroes. Yeah, yeah. Man, right. that's some of the same stuff you said, bro. That's right. crazy. I'm like, how is it crazy? I would say after that, everybody has to everybody has to know after that. But uh, for the most part, uh, boys and men, when they sung uh, that's right, the Lord's Prayer at a Passover one year. That's right. Oh wow! Uh, Stockman is he like he's avidly like he says, "I'm in the truth. I rock fringes." I yeah, I and I think the brother from Jagged Edge, the brother from Jagged Edge, yep. yeah. yes. Yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes. yes. You, you think you're gonna be a fringed up? Yeah, I, I believe so. I believe Brian Casey will be fringed up. Um, I'm not. Right. Sure. I worked with him before. Really? So yeah, man, I worked been, with him. Uh, you've been you've been putting in that work. You've been yeah. You've been I, in that work. Like I worked. Wow. Yeah, it wasn't really making sense early on. Uh, it didn't make sense until like the eighth year of me doing it. Mm -hmm. Now. Uh, First, it was like free alcohol, free food, fifty dollars here, fifty dollars there. Yeah. Every now and then, I'll get big money, um, and then now it's it's been a blessing. Like the Most High has really been allowing me to uh, see the world doing it and pays the bills. Yeah, and like I said, I don't just do stand. I don't just do stand up comedy. Like that's just what people know me for. Um, I do the wedding officiant stuff and um i mc a lot of events like not just comedy events right um i'm a power right. ranger i know that's weird to hear in the truth <laughs> but uh i'm a professional power ranger i, I see i saw you i saw i saw you uh i saw you <laughs> <laughs> i've hey, seen that a hundred a hundred dollars for 20 minutes for me to go oh, like this what? right on, i ain't Wait, mad at it. it i ain't mad at yeah, it I ain't mad at right. <laughs> If somebody want to call me wicked, call me wicked. <laughs> right? A hundred dollars for twenty minutes. I can go to Walmart and work eight hours and get what twelve dollars an hour. Right. Is my, it? And get cursed out. Yeah. Right. And I'm getting, I can I can bring my daughter. My daughter gonna get free t uh free tokens to go play right. the games. Go play the games. Right. And eat cake and pizza. 
and right. I get a hundred dollars. Yeah, twenty minutes. So, yes, indeed. Amen at it. Amen at it. And I'm gonna invite the I'm gonna invite the parents to class for the feast right. of serving apples. You know, what I'm saying? there you go. There you go. <laughs> it's a win win. How many people you got coming to class? You know, what right. I'm saying? right. <laughs> <laughs> You uh, ask how he came into the truth. You got some uh, acting chops as well, don't you? You was in uh, yeah, VH1. I'm on, uh, I'm VH1. Uh, man, you did your research. VH1, season two. I'm in the first three episodes. Let me do my lines for y'all. Okay. <laughs> Women to police, put your hands up. And scene. That's it. <laughs> That's me. Hey. That's you got my only line. <laughs> Hey, when you did that, you came yeah, with hands with that. You know <laughs> right, right. I felt I was there. Right. Boy, I was in there. I, right. play, I, was, I, play a, I play a dope boy, a baby daddy, and um, a cop. Like, I'm one of those people I can play. I don't have right. tattoos. I don't have right. tattoos. So you can play more you know than you me. You versatile. Right. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. So, like, you remember Love so, and Basketball, the guy that says, yeah. hey, man, you want some wings? That's that I that's me in the acting world. I'm that that, that was his yeah, only yeah. line yeah. on Love and Basketball. Right. You, <laughs> hey, you, I'm a, you got the same amount of lines as Ice T got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> that's a dead body. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> ask you though uh and we me and Sherry talked about this earlier with your uh background and all the success you've had do you with social media with the rise of desi banks uh drewski what's some other ones y'all um uh, uh, country wayne, country wayne. wayne. Yeah. what is is social media direct the comedy game for a stand-up or do you see yourself getting into these skits and youtube and how some of these guys are like where do you see the game go? where do you see the comedy is it shifting or uh i mean it's actually it's actually helped like i mean Deli, desi i saw desi like too long ago he's very talented and um yeah, yeah. so you got people like him you got people like him who's more of an influencer Right, that like go in the stand up, and you got someone like right. that me that's been doing stand up for years. And uh, you would think someone like me would be like, "What does this dude do? think he is?" Like you know, but yeah. really, he brings like a bunch of comics with him that are at, like other good comedians that are not that famous, but they're right. really really good. So he's providing. I think it's dope because he's providing great opportunities not just him but other influencers right right uh they're providing great opportunities for people like me and the, and it's a right. sold out show wow. uh, I, now i have seen it go wrong i have seen them be very funny on skits but not funny that, on stand up mm -hmm. you know what i mean um i've seen but Country. i think I, someone like desi he was he was he was very open to advice you know mm -hmm. what i mean okay. Okay. some of them are kind of prideful uh right. country right. rain country rain is killing it right now yeah so, he is he's um uh, as far as like me doing skits uh and trying to go viral uh i'm not i'm like i'm happy uh i'm not trying to go viral but if i go viral that's cool but i used to i almost got caught up into that wow yeah you know yeah, what i yeah, mean yeah. like especially yeah. when TikTok. Next thing I know, I'm dancing and shit. Like right. I, the most I was like, nigga, that ain't even you. And I was doing it. I, I was right, I was right. doing it. I, I don't get I'm not I'm I'm not ashamed to say right. I I was trying to get on the little trend of all that, but uh right. what I'm working on what I'm working right what I'm working on right now is I was very cautious about it, but a lot of like brothers in the truth was like, hey Ock, when you gonna do some like Israelite comedy? I don't really know what that is, but what that right. looks like. But I figured it. I, I figured it out. I have a, a okay. So you got Clifton Simmons. I have a character. Okay, so my Hebrew name is Nahar, uh -huh. and I tried to. I I, I asked the most. I, like I was just like, I was just thinking about. Well, maybe I should change my name, but I didn't created a whole business off of Clifton Simmons. Mm -hmm. And so I've tried to go up as Nahar on stage, 
those are two different spirits. Mm -hmm. you know, Nahar is more like he's more spiritual. He don't know how to do stand up. So I created right. a character out of my Hebrew name. Okay. Nahar okay. is that overly righteous uh, yeah. brother in your camp that you can't yeah. like. <laughs> hey, I'm, they do nothing. You know, you know, you know there. You know there's pork, and you know they make you know lids. Lids that they use pork <laughs> on the rim of their hat. I cannot. You know, I you cannot. Know, you ain't even in the truth. Right. You, you know much. there's there's pork in your door handles on your car. Right. You, yeah. 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 Most, most high go kill you for that. Yeah. <laughs> so what you said in if, if the head in the heart, so if he but showed up the at F3. Time, yeah, Nahar. Okay, so Nahar at the same time, <laughs> Nahar's gonna be the overly righteous brother. But also, Clip, Clifton you know. Simmons is going to be our, our family. You know how our family is in the world? Yeah. Come on. Right. It's just, genius, man. Nahar is going to be checking Clifton Simmons. Because what happens is I get beat up on I get beat up on some of the stuff I post on Facebook. You know what I mean? Like, as far as our, my people in the world, right? right. So <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm having Nahar say, say it. And I'm having Clifton you know what I mean? Like, come on, yeah, right. yeah, what do you mean? Yeah. What's what wrong? Mean? With, what's wrong yeah. with Nahar's calling yeah. Clifton Simmons out for celebrating Christmas, right? Right. Come on, right. it's it's for the kids, right? Nah, right. right. <laughs> don't you know that's uh, don't you know that's Nimrod right there? Right? Right. But at the same time, Nahar is dropping knowledge. Right. right. I like it. I like it's, it. Yeah. It's funny, genius, bro. But he's dropping knowledge, like. Right. At the same time, I like nobody's it. doing. No, I'm gonna yeah. over exaggerate with it though. Right. You know what I mean? That's perfect. I can see a cartoon. Oh yeah, I can, that's I can nice. Actually see, nice. I can actually see a series. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's, yeah. that's nice. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's dope. I like, like that. Like I would have, tune I'm, in I'm, for I'm, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna have like a white girl as my date. As Clifton Simmons, <laughs> and the hard like, come on, I, you I, almost made like yo, spit out his yeah. Hear me out. Hear me out. Clifton Simmons gonna be like, nah, I she gad. She get uh 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 she she get uh she get she get uh she get you got Villa Lago. Villa Lago. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so I'm gonna be, I, wow. Yeah, so Nahar's gonna be checking. She, leprosy. she got leprosy. That's funny. Yeah. That is funny. That's, that's good, bro. That's yeah. that's actually. Yeah, funny. I like that. And the reason why I was very cautious about doing like like some type of Israelite comedy because once again we have those overly righteous brothers, and I don't want brothers to say, "Oh, he's mocking the truth. He's making a mockery." <laughs> Out of the out, out out of uh out of Christ. Some of that you know? stuff needs to be made a made a mockery of though. I like I mean just to be honest, man, but yeah, I I, I dig it though, man. I really do. You know? Like I said, different lures for different fish. Exactly. I can appreciate it. Exactly. I can definitely appreciate it. Yo. Yes. And it's mm. and it's yeah, and, 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 and behind closed doors, I really do be teaching. So when, absolutely, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And behind that's the, social that's, media. Yeah, you be you be on it, and see that's the that's the 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 gem and the diamond that is the sacrifice to the Most High, sweet incense to his nostrils, because he know in your heart he that's worship. He's making right. money yeah. because there's new people coming to this truth every day, and they see something like that, they're gonna be like, oh man, I I can do this. They're more apt to listen. Yeah, it's right. Like, yeah, it's it's one body. You know what I'm saying? You got some people that are coming in from the world that have they they probably worked for CBS for so many years and they can help out with you know the network that somebody on people's podcast network like hey right. I got the hook up on you know what I mean everybody everybody cannot be high priest uh Yeshaya right. or Yahana right. yeah no, you know the yeah everybody can be there yeah not yeah. everybody Thanks. can be Moses no you were right. house. Right, you know, I, I, look at, I look at comedians like as <clears throat> as track stars, um, because okay. like I yo play, 
Ayo played football. Um, he's not on that field by himself. You know, right. it's, it's him and right. 10 others. It's a team. Right. But in track and in, in tennis and in golf, that's those are individual sports. Um, you either you win it by yourself, you lose it by yourself. Yeah. When you go out there on that stage, it's just you. Yeah, and I, I don't cater to the crowd either. Uh <laughs> you, you tell it like it is. If they don't laugh at a, if they don't laugh at a joke, I I'll, I'll do something way worse. Oh, y'all don't like that joke? <laughs> y'all gonna hate this next joke. Because <laughs> I know I'm gonna have a career tomorrow. I know, if, you, if y'all don't like me tonight, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna have tomorrow. a career tomorrow. Right? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. Right. You said with a straight face. Oh, you didn't like that joke. Oh, you gonna yeah, like yeah. this? Yeah. Like yeah. 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 next joke. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to F three to see you. That's right. Same. We're, we're, we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna probably gonna do some trivia. Um, yeah. I'm not sure on how the setup is gonna be. If it if if it's like a theater style setting or like comedy club style setting, then yeah, it's about to be lit. Yeah. But like if there's like a whole bunch of like vendor like talking going on, it's gonna be, it'll be very challenging to go into like a story. Got so right. um so it will, it might have to be I don't know what the setup is gonna be. So uh right. if the setup is like chaotic, then I would have to uh do a whole bunch of quick to the point right. jokes like get in and get out, get in and get out. Right. Like, bam, 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 bam. How long is you sit? How long is you sit? Uh, about I think twenty five to thirty minutes. Oh, wow. okay. But I, what I was what what I, what I might end up doing is I might just do jokes in between each artist. Right. Got you. Depending, okay. on, depending on depending on how attentive everybody is. Right. Right. Gotcha. Like, people are not engaging. Yeah, people are not engaging. So is this yeah. your first time standing up in front of majority Hebrews? The, that know I've the performed Hebrews? a couple of times with my camp, but I, that don't count to me because they know you. That's family. family. They, right. Yeah, it's those family. are my. That's right. my family. You know. Right. That's right. family. Right. Gotcha. So I don't family know. Family gonna laugh at everything. <laughs> yeah. <well. laughs> or they gonna they be brutally everything. honest. Or brutally honest. I, I, I pissed them. I went too far, at, but I was young. But I was a lot younger. Uh, I have okay. gone too far. In my <laughs> right. Like, oh no, 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 no! I can't do that joke again. Yeah, okay. I, I, I can't scratch that off. But I have, I, 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 have I have discernment now. I, I've, I've right. done enough. I've done enough uh, stuff at our uh, events, and I've done. I I also do faith based shows too. Okay. You know what I mean? okay. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not necessarily like Christian comedy, but like um, it was just basically there was other religions there that and i had to be clean but it was still yeah impactful right. yeah, so absolutely. Right. the way i'm looking at the way i'm approaching it is it's a faith-based event right 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 right, right. okay so, wow i'm gonna do yeah. some jokey jokes too I'm a, I'm, that's why i'm you know i'm starting off for sure because i'm starting i'm gonna start off with like some jokey jokes like some corny mm -hmm. Israelite right. jokes. Okay. I can't either, man. I, I, I really, I'm really it's either gonna excited, go really, man. really good or really, or really, really bad. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 I guess as a comedian, yeah, though, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. have tough skin. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. skin has got to be tough. Like, you know, I be seeing articles they talk about comedians got heckled and booed off stage. I, I think. That's a growing pain with a comedian. It's just my opinion. I'm not a comedian, but I feel like every comedian has probably been booed or heckled. At, at, oh, yeah. I've, at been, some I, yeah I've been booed before wow. in front of 3,000 people at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Really? I was, opening, I, I was opening up for Frankie Beverly in the Maze and uh, J. Anthony Brown. And this is when J. Anthony Brown was like famous. At the time, mm. like he was like, it was like, <laughs> not like very popular at that time. Right, right. He, right. His son got sick and he canceled, and so <laughs> I was his replacement. So they were already, oh, they, were, they were already mad. Right. And I didn't know so, Jay Anthony Brown's son did comedy. No, his son got sick, and so he had oh, to oh, oh, you were Jay Anthony Brown's replacement. Yeah, yeah. my Frankie bad. Beverly, yeah. Frankie Beverly in the Maze was the headliner. Right. Uh, Jay Anthony and, Brown was the opener. Oh, and man. I was uh oh, I, I replaced Jay Anthony Brown. 
So and I got to ask. I know we don't ran, we don't ran out of time, but okay. but but I do got a question to ask you. After being booed by three thousand people, what's going on in Clifton Simmons' head? First, I was like sad and depressed, but when they paid me what they said they were going to pay me afterwards, <laughs> I was like, wow, hey, <laughs> all praises to the most high. Yeah. Because uh, not only I got booed, I was, I got booed, but I didn't get off stage because I knew if you if you get off stage, you, you don't, don't get some money. Pay. So I, right. I had to work. I had to work through the booze. Yeah, <laughs> that's tough. No, but, wow. uh, uh doing bad uh like if you if you bomb it's kind of like a rush like the reason mm -hmm. i think some uh, like most of us performers i think we get a rush out of this can go wrong like or this can go really good right like, it's a almost like a wrong. rush right yeah. wow <laughs> that's yeah. one way of looking at it yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. not that i'm yeah. done hair on <laughs> <laughs> But it, it is like a it is a rush, like oh this can go bad. And you said uh you see comics as track stars, but a lot of people see us as uh, some people see us as like clowns. They think mm -hmm. that we funny all the time. Oh, you're a comedian? Tell me a joke. It don't work that way. It sure right. doesn't. You know, right, right, right. You know, My best you know, friend does comedy. Audience. Uh huh. Yeah, she that's one of the things she talks about all the time. Wow. You have to be in the mood for it. Like she's oh. funny in general. She's just naturally funny, but it's not one of those situations where every time she opens her mouth, it's all full of jokes. And that's what people always assume. That is not the case. Yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not a clown. Uh, I, I'm more of a storyteller, if anything. Right. Uh, some people call us court jesters. Wow. Court jesters. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. man. I, I got more questions for you, so we definitely gonna have to get you yeah, back. We're gonna on do it here. again, man. And uh, yeah. I, I, call, I go to Dallas all the time. I got a nephew and a brother and a dad out there. Oh wow! Got a lot okay. of family in Dallas. Yeah. Wow. Well, Mainly in Fort Worth. I'm in. I'm in Houston now. So you oh, go to now. I'll be in Houston. I'll be in Houston uh, Friday. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, you you doing the show? Yeah, I got a show in Houston on Friday. Where at? You, you know Ali yeah. Sadiq? Yeah, he was one of my mentors early on. I got an interview with him too. Wow. Well, clip you. Yeah. I'll send I'll send that to you. And yeah, okay, this, I, I was working with Ali uh way before he blew up though. Really? Really? Ali Sadiq. Wow. Yeah, he's an hey, H Town you been, legend. You've been putting in that work, bro. You man, you you out here, bro. I'm performing at, let's see, where's this? The Red Rooster? Boy, nah. Scott. <laughs> it's called Henneke and, <laughs> and Pilot. Pilot. What, what is that? Called. I'll, send it, I'll send it to you. Yeah, it takes it, it to It says me. that it's off of Congre Congress Street, 809 Congress Street, Houston, Texas. It says okay. the place is called H-E-N-K-E -E and Pilot. Henneke and Pilot. They, I never heard of it. They could be they could be anywhere. Houston, Houston is 245 yeah. miles <laughs> in all directions. So <laughs> don't yeah, give me, don't has, tell me you stay in Houston. That they don't that could be anywhere. They could be anywhere. Yeah. You got Mo City, uh K. Yeah. Houston Green is an hour Street. away from Houston. Exactly. It is. <laughs> yeah. Houston <laughs> is an hour from Houston. Joke, everyone on stage got to joke about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really man. is. <clears throat> wow. Uh, Houston is yeah, but thank y'all for having me, man. Like, man thank you for man, thank, thank, thank you for, for coming. coming. Right. Yes, sir. Great. Now uh you want to catch the replay, it will be on Wednesday night, 7 30. Right. It's gonna be live. Yeah, so yeah. I appreciate you. Hey, I'm gonna lock you in too, man. I'm gonna stay in touch with you. Yeah, stay man. in touch, man. Can't I'll... wait to see you. F3. Right. I know I, I can't wait to see it. F3, man. I know you're going to bring the house down. So right. All pages, man. And glad to have you on. Well, you fam now. We got to get you back. We get you back yeah, on. We're going to have to oh. definitely oh, get you back. Out. He dipped out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to close out with Fear No Man by Shanaim and. Yeah.
Hold on, who is this? Shanaying and Shana Almighty Shana Samson. Yeah. Yeah. 